everyone, yet again to another Ticket Freaks 212. I'm your host, Carlos, and as always, we're here to talk to you about movies. On today's movie topic, we'll be discussing Chasing Amy. This film was, okay, let me just give you the mind, spoiler alert. This one is a spoiler, so if you don't want to get spoiled, then go see the other one. It'll give you the choice between wanting to watch it or not, but not enough to give too much away. This film, this video, will give away a whole bunch. That this was a Quentin Tarantino formula, only in a comedy sense. Kevin Smith made his own formula by saying, okay, I'm going to put my dialogue as the interesting piece and the story as the interesting piece. But the weakness to that was the sugar and spice, but the everything nice wasn't in the film. Considering it didn't bring the performance a lot from a lot of the actors. At least that's how I felt about it. I will say that Joey Lauren Adams is the best in this film. She really did bring out her emotions and intensity as the character. Better than Ben Affleck. I didn't see Ben Affleck in great performance. I will say that. I didn't see the, I didn't see the actor come to life in this film. But I will say that Joey Lauren Adams was indeed the best part of the film. Because she brought such intensity. Let me, talk to, let me tell you about this film. It's about these two comic book friends who do comic books. Uh, that would be played by Jason Lee and Ben Affleck, Ben Affleck playing the leading role. And he falls in love with this girl that he meets at a comic book convention that he was in. And, you know, they spend time with each other. And then eventually he finds out that, ben, uh, that Joey, who is the girl he falls in love with, is actually a lesbian. Now, his, he's heartbroken, he's devastated, but he just doesn't know how to, how to give up on this girl. He still continues... And Jason Lee is not very comfortable because he's kind of in love, in a sense, I guess, of Ben Affleck's, uh, uh, in love with Ben Affleck's character. In a way, it is kind of weird, but I'll just keep it in mind. That's what I felt like it happened. But Ben Affleck eventually is telling Joey, he's confessing his entire love, and then eventually she actually changes her mind and falls in love with him. Now, due to her checkered past, not only was she not a lesbian all the time, and it wasn't her first time doing it with a guy, he finds out that she actually has history where she's actually slept with a few guys at, one point, at just one time. Now, Ben Affleck can't get over the idea of that, and Joey finally just says enough is enough, and then there's this big huge twist, I'm not going to give too much away, but the moment I saw Jay and Silent Bob, just for a brief second, I was a little disappointed because it's a little cameo, I wanted to see him a little bit more, but when I got to see him, Kevin Smith, again with his Silent Bob act, you know, when he gets a chance, he'll get to say his wisdom. And he talks about the title of the film was amazing because I didn't know where the film title came from. Because apparently, Joey Lauren Adams' character is not Amy. But Kevin Smith had fell in love, and this is where he tells Ben Affleck because Ben Affleck's in this conflict of, I can't let it go, the fact that she's been with so many people at one time and all this stuff. So, Kevin Smith gives his advice by giving him the story. As Silent Bob telling the story about hey, Amy. Now, he says that he couldn't let go of something from Amy that she did. They broke up and then, you know, he lost the woman of his life and that's why he's always going to be chasing Amy. What a mind twist to that. I think I might have spoiled it way too much for you guys, but let me tell you, I love that part of the film. That's what made the dialogue and the story interesting piece interesting enough now like i said not a lot of great performance a little flat on that but as far as what it did as a low budget film i think it did pretty good now what it did in the box office let's see a two hundred fifty thousand dollar budget and it made 12 million dollars that's impressive okay it could have made a hundred it could have made five hundred thousand but it made 12 million dollars that's not too bad for a little film that came out and that's what it did rating wise Rotten Tomatoes rated at an 88% and IMDP rated at a 7.4. Take freaks from one being bad to five being musty film. I'm rating this at a 4. The reason I rated it at a 4 is because I still didn't get performance. Now, with Quentin Tarantino's films, you get performance intensity, you get the dialogue, and you get the story. Kevin Smith was missing the sugar. He had the sugar, the spice, but he didn't have the everything nice. That's the power puff formula, if you guys don't already know. He was missing the performance from characters. And I didn't see it from Ben Affleck, Jason Lee, himself as Kevin Smith playing Silent Bob, and Jason Mewes. I saw it from Joey Lauren Adams, but no one else in the film. So I was a little disappointed because this was a world that... Well, that was it's not disappointing enough because the story piece was interesting enough for a guy to fall in love with a lesbian and this whole entire world of things happening and how they handled it and how they, the intensity of it. I loved it. 
but just as far as what it gave performance wise lacked a little bit so that's why i gave it a four anyways if you have any questions comments or concerns please wait at the end of the credits there's the contact information where you can ask me about movies that's gonna do it for us today guys hope you guys enjoy the show please subscribe or tell a friend i hope to see you guys next time okay peace